the tutorial presentation video guide. For this semester, we are going to have a 10% tutorial presentation. It can be delivered as a face-to-face -face delivery inside the classroom, where you will be standing up in front of a tutorial space and presenting to either a backdrop of the whiteboard, the PowerPoint projector, or just yourself standing there. Alternatively, it can be pre-recorded and posted to the Wattle forum for your tutorial so that your classmates can watch it. The idea of the due date is that it's the week of the tutorial, so preferably by the tutorial or in the tutorial or at the tutorial. The topic of this particular presentation is the chapter, the textbook chapter. We've done this so that the textbook itself has a value. There's a point and purpose to buying the textbook because at least once you're going to need a chapter. There's also a point and purpose to the textbook because it's got the information you need for the subject. The aim is to get you to deliver on this chapter and to do so there are going to be 19 chapters. Most tutorials have 20 students so somebody's doing chapter one and somebody's doing chapter one again. If we have requirements to loop multiple uh, chapters, we will do so. But the idea is that you get up, you summarize the textbook chapter in eight minutes or less, and you work to a set of predetermined requirements. The specific requirements, you need to tell, your, tell us who you are and what your number is. That way the markers get to mark you and give you grades and which chapter you're covering. There needs to be a section on the most important thing that you learnt from the chapter. This is your takeaway, this is your highlight, this is to you. You've read this chapter and gone, this, this is the, this is the big idea. You need to summarise the key ideas of the chapter, interweaving them, interlinking them, making them make sense. But basically you want to present to your peers the chapter so that your peers would learn from you and learn from your experience what the chapter was about. There's also the requirement that you express what aspect of the chapter you found most challenging. What was the hardest? What did you understand the least? What was the part of the chapter that gave you the most difficulty? You're doing this in order to first get peer support from the room. Someone's strength may be, covering, may be able to cover your weakness. You can go, look, this is the element I had trouble with. Or was there anyone who had a good experience with it and someone else, you get a bit of a dialogue going. The second thing is that working to strengths, strengths, weakness, opportunity, threat, strengths and weaknesses are things that are just there. You analyze them, you address them, you use them, you engage with them. The final step is that I'm going to ask you to formulate a discussion question. I want you to create a question that can get a conversation started in the room based on the readings from the chapter. That's going to be up to you. It's going to be your time to also engage in a bit of peer, uh, how should we say, peer-centric learning. You may choose to build your discussion question around the element you found challenging. You may choose to build it around the element you found important. You may choose to build it around something that you read in the chapter and went, What's this, what's, what are my peers' views on this going to be? Let's get a conversation going. So your aim here is to produce a discussion question that you deliver to the room. So the strengths, again, what we're trying to also attain here is a sense of, for some people, what you, what they found as a strength could be your weakness. Your weakness could be their strength. Your challenge here is to support those around you, to be willing to say, hey, I can help you with this, and hey, is there anyone who can help? I'm not following this, can I get some support? Being able to ask for help is a critical skill, and it's a skill we'd like to give the opportunity for you to practice in a safe environment. You're asking for help around an interpretation of parts of the textbook chapter. 
The reason for the tutorial presentation is we are looking at activating learning outcome number seven, effective communication. I also want to use the multiple perspectives, multiple stakeholders worldview. Because you're presenting on the chapter, my lectures are not necessarily going to cover everything that's in the chapter or be derived entirely from the chapter. So there will be, in the pre-records, a different perspective from what you will be providing in the tutorials. And also, there is nothing more powerful for learning something than teaching it. So I want to give you that power chance, that power opportunity. So in terms of presentations, there are five choices on pre-record, and there are three choices on stand and deliver. If you're going the live option, option A is to use the eight minutes, eight slides deck, and a template is available. Option B is to go the 20 slides, 20 seconds per slides, the Pekka Kacha. That will give you a six minute and 40 second presentation. The templates are both automated, so they will just tick forward as required. Slide deck C is by request freeform, somewhere between six minutes and eight minutes. As few or as many slides as you see fit. And option D is stand and deliver. Direct to class, not no slides necessarily. You still got to cover the key points, but you don't have to have a PowerPoint at your back. You can use the whiteboard, you can stand up, so long as the question is known and the question, I'd appreciate one slide and that slide being the final question, the discussion question. If you're going the pre-record, slide deck options, all the deck options are available as per before, you're just recording them. We're throwing in the option that you can do it as a let's play. You can record yourself inside a video game and explain and do your whole textbook chapter thing whilst playing a game. Because it's super fun just to throw options out there, uh, the let's play extends out to doing it as a first person in real life event. I will caveat this by saying, look, it's 10%. Don't, don't sink too much of your life and your time into it. Same for the open-ended. Six to eight minutes, got to cover all the key points, but do it your way. If, you wanna, if you've got some cool way you want to do things, you can do that. The last thing on this, uh, on the pre-record advice, is a bunch of the slide templates are automated. The Pekka Kacha is automated, the pre-recorded advice is automated. If you are doing recording, many takes makes light work. It's a chance to create, recreate, and modify. Timing is important, particularly on the pre-records. We will know just simply by looking at your file length. In the room, when you hit the magic marker, the bell gets rung, it's time to sit down. Whether you're finished or not, you're on to the discussion question. You throw to that last slide. If you are doing a picture-in-picture -picture recording, please make note of the way that we set up the 16 by 9. Now, I have my webcam in 16 by 9 ratio. Um, you can have yours in 4 by 3, however it works. But you need to leave space in your PowerPoint file for your picture-in-picture. Uh, -picture. Because if you don't, you end up with the situation we have here on the marking rubric. Inside the rubric, basically it's a score out of 10 you're going to be given and some elements in between. Centrally to us, what we want is a good presentation that covers the content. We're going to prioritize content, substance beats style every time. We have one style rating, which is subjective opinion, and we have all substance ratings in terms of covers the sections, covers the key ideas of the chapter, shows us that something was important, sh acknowledges a weakness and invites the exploration of that weakness. So in recap, up to 10 minutes if you're doing it by recording, six to eight if you're doing it live, multiple templates, multiple opportunities, and doing it so that you're peer teaching, you're sharing your knowledge with others, you're gaining from their multiple perspectives, and you are learning from those around you in a collective, collaborative environment.